First, in order to draw the lumbar plexus, you want to start off by drawing six lines as shown. For the first five lines, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a tail on the left side, just like this for numbers one through five. Then you'll go on to the right and start numbering all six nerves. So we'll start with T12, going through L1, L2, all the way through L5. There are some connections in the gaps here, so you're going to skip this first gap and move on to the second one and draw a connection just like this. Then for the third gap, you're also going to skip and for gap number four, you're going to make another connection. Next, you'll start by naming the first nerve. The first nerve is the subcostal nerve and it's up here and in parentheses, we know that it is just T12. Moving on down, we're going to join the elements of T12 and L1 together. And here you're going to get your iliohypogastric nerve. And this one is going to have T12 and L1. So we'll go ahead and put that in parentheses next to it. The next one directly below is going to be the ilioinguinal nerve. And we know this is just going to be innervated by L1. Then directly to the right of that is going to be the genitofemoral nerve, and we know that this one is going to get branches from L1 and L2, so we put that in parentheses right next to it. Then we're going to go back over to the left, and we're going to take the top branch from L2 and L3 and draw it down just like this and have them attached together. And this is going to be for the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Next we're going to draw a line from the bottom of L2 and L3 and the top of L4 and have those all join into one line just like so. And this is going to be the femoral nerve which is going to have innervations from all three. Then you'll take the lone lower branch of L4 and combine that with L5, and this is going to form the lumbosacral nerve. And finally, the last thing we need to do is take a branch from L2 here have this come on down right there, and this is going to be for the obturator nerve. And once you've written out the innervations for the obturator nerve, you've completed the lumbar plexus. If you're having trouble memorizing the nerves, there is an acronym. I'll go ahead and post that in the description. And if you really like today's video and you find it informative, please subscribe because I will be making more videos in the future. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.